Hello everyone, Neonstar here, and I had bed bugs for two years straight. It was the worst itchiness I've ever experienced, and it destroyed me mentally. As I've talked about in my house video, we moved into this apartment complex in late 2018. The apartment was two stories with four rooms. We lived in a hotel room for a year before this, so this was like living in luxury. Though the complex was very far from luxurious. It was the kind of area where you would see dog poop and needles strewn about outside. But beggars can't be choosers, so... It was also very close to my high school, with an elementary school for my brother that you could see from the windows. Things were great up until the summer. I finished freshman year and was enjoying my break. One morning, though, I woke up with red bumps on my arms and legs. Now, I'd been bitten by bugs before in my sleep, specifically ants, and since it was summer, I came to the conclusion that it was probably ants. So I told my dad and we searched under my mattress and around my room. I only had a mattress on the floor to sleep on, by the way. We didn't find anything, though, so I just carried on. I woke up every day with red bumps everywhere, and they itched like hell. They would even appear when I was already awake, since I spent all day sitting in my bed on my phone. Through the summer and the start of the next school year, I just had to deal with it. Right as I dropped out of school, we started to reconsider if these were bug bites or not. We still couldn't find any bugs in my room, so we brought up the idea that these were actually hives. Hives can appear if you're under a lot of stress, and considering I just dropped out for stressful medical reasons, that's the conclusion we came to. My dad gave me some anti-itch cream, and I used up both tubes pretty quickly. It was incredibly painful and distressing. It's hard to de-stress when you're all itchy and red. Around December, I woke up and saw something crawling on my arm. As an aside, when my mom was alive in the hotel room, she thought she saw a bed bug once. It wasn't, but I still looked up advice about bed bugs. One thing I saw was that bed bugs detach from your skin if you move. This was something I'd internalized. So when I woke up and saw this mystery bug, my first instinct was to twist my arm a little. It started crawling around and I swept it off. I hopped up and told my dad about it. I spent the next hour researching what it could be, in somewhat denial that it was a bed bug. Since it was full, it looked like a big round bug and not like the pictures I was seeing. Regardless, I felt gross, so I took a shower. While I was drying off and watching YouTube, I looked at my arm and saw another bug on it. I blew it off in a panic and got my dad again. This time he lifted up my mattress and saw what looked like stock images of bed bugs. We still don't know where they came from. My dad hadn't seen a single bed bug in his 50 years of life. We threw my mattress out right away. It was my first mattress, so it was old and the spring stabbed me at night, so it wasn't a huge loss. I had to sleep on the couch through Christmas. I also had to bag up my stuffed animals. I remember seeing a small white bug crawling on my night tails, which in hindsight was a baby bed bug. I still went to my room to watch things and draw, but I sat in a metal garden chair with a foldable table. Fun fact, this was the setup I used up until recently, so my first six videos were made like this. I was still getting itchy, so I started sleeping on the floor of our spare room. It didn't last long before I spotted a huge bed bug. The bed bugs started spreading to my brother and dad's rooms too. My dad read that bed bugs couldn't climb blow up beds, so he bought us some. My dad and brother didn't have any beds before either. It was nice to sleep on a bed again, but it didn't last. One day while I was laying down, I noticed the bed was sagging. I had a hole in my mattress and it was deflating. My dad sprayed liquid rubber to fix it, but the fumes made me dizzy. He ended up getting me a new one, but it popped too. And neither deterred the bed bugs. I would rub my arms or legs at night and accidentally touch bed bugs. And when you flick a bed bug off, it always just disappears. It made me paranoid and I lost so much sleep. A year after we discovered the bed bugs, and after Christmas 2020, we were relocated to a different apartment so they could remodel half the complex. And while we wanted to move without any bed bugs, they decided to come with us anyway. We started putting everything into garbage bags, and I slept on thick blankets on the floor. My mental health wasn't doing very well. We'd suffered through the pandemic, and I developed agoraphobia towards the start of 2021. 
so I had very few chances to escape my room. Bedbugs would just crawl all over me and drink my blood. I was trying to sort through some previous trauma, and the bedbugs were just aggravating it. Like, I didn't consent to you drinking my blood, goddammit! Everything was dirty, and spots of blood where I squished the bugs coated the walls. My skin felt like bugs were in it, and I felt like I was losing my mind, so I wasn't doing well. Not to mention how uncomfortable and itchy I felt all the time. My dad and brother had small itchy bumps, but every bite on me was inflamed to the size of pennies. And they came in clusters, so my body was just covered in red. Every move was painful, and it had been nearly two years of this. You could see bed bugs everywhere. I saw them in the shower and crawling up the walls in the hallway. I've read from exterminators that if you can see bed bugs just crawling around, the infestation is egregious. No matter how many we killed, there was more. We kill one, ten more take its place. We theorized that they had gotten under the floorboards and they were congregating in the walls. So you may be wondering how we got rid of them, and with how bad it had gotten, we have no clue how it all worked out for us. I mentioned earlier that we had wrapped everything in garbage bags, meaning that any bugs inside would eventually suffocate. My dad also made a spray. He mixed the bed bug spray that didn't work very well with some all-purpose cleaner spray. This spray worked very well, but you had to spray the bug directly to kill it. So my sister bought us a steamer. Bed bugs can't handle heat, so the steamer should have destroyed them. My dad used it plenty, but it wasn't really working. He eventually tried the steamer without any of the attachments it came with, and it seemed to work better. All of a sudden, we stopped seeing any bugs. My dad killed two that were in his notebook, and that was it. We kept our eyes wide for more bugs, but we didn't see any. It had been two years and we were finally free. We ended up getting some help and we got beds. I hadn't consistently slept on a real bed in years. And it was so nice to watch my bites slowly heal away. We ended up moving back to the original apartment for a while, so the blood spots and dead bugs were left behind. Then we moved to Texas. One day I noticed that I had some red bumps on my arms, and I freaked the heck out. As it turns out, bed bug PTSD is a real thing. And I thought I had enough previous trauma to be distress disordered over. Then I saw the mosquitoes flying around. I'd never really dealt with mosquitoes in New Mexico. Even though I still didn't want mosquito bites, it's such a relief that it wasn't bed bugs. Though the mosquito bites still swelled up painfully like the bed bug bites did, so it was still very painful. I had one more scare when I felt something small and round stuck on my thigh, but I found out it was one of those flat rhinestones. Now it's been two years since the bed bugs, and I couldn't be more relieved. Hopefully I never have to see another bed bug for the rest of my life. Honestly, I'd take the roach infestation we used to have over the bed bugs. If you liked hearing about my suffering, hit that subscribe button. I've suffered a lot, so that means plenty more content for all of you. Have a good rest of your day, stay safe, and don't let the bed bugs bite. Seriously. Bye!